Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know that if you are following developments in the Insider program, that to end of the week, Microsoft released their latest Windows 11 build for insiders um, in the Canary channel. And the new build is build 25381. And although there are no front-facing features, so-called front-facing features, um, this is a important and significant um, change um, in regards to the SMB, which stands for Server Message Block Sign-In. Now, um, previously, in case you're unaware, um, SMB, Server Message Block Sign-In, was not compulsory and mandatory. But with this latest build, build 25381, uh, Microsoft now um, will require SMB signing um, by default. So this is actually a major change that they are bringing to improve the security um, of um, Windows 11 in the so-called hot off the presses feature for this week for the Canary Channel insiders to try and test out. Now just a quick um, recap and overview as what as to what server message block is all about in case you're unaware. Um, SMB is a networking file share protocol that provides the ability to read and write files and perform other service requests to network devices. Um, Microsoft's description says usually you'll be using SMB to connect to devices that don't run Windows such as a router with file share capabilities, network attached storage, NAS for short, or other computers running Linux. So that's just in a brief nutshell um, what SMB server message block um, file sharing protocol is all about. And something else to take note of, um, because this is a major um, kind of improvement and change that Microsoft is bringing, if we head over to uh, the release notes for this latest Canary Channel build, they say uh, uh, in this paragraph that all versions of Windows and Windows Server su support SMB signing, but a third party might disable or not support it. So if you attempt to connect to a remote share on a third party SMB server, um, that does not allow SMB sign and you may receive um, one of uh, the following error messages and yeah we can see all those different error messages and uh, to resolve this issue Microsoft has uh, provided a workaround if you are faced with this issue and I'll leave a link to this um, this um, inside a blog release notes page down below so you can just come and check this out for yourself if you want to resolve the issue if you are um, um, experiencing this issue as Microsoft has described here. And over and above that, guys, um, as mentioned, there's not there's no major front-facing features. That's just the major change for this week. And over and above that, um, there is a general change in improvement um, where Microsoft says if a camera streaming issue is detected, such as a camera failing to start or a closed camera shutter, a pop-up dialogue will appear with the recommendation to launch the automated Get Help Troubleshooter to resolve the issue. And that's what's more or less hot off the presses for this week's latest Canary Channel build, build 25381. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.